what came around went around in a good way Saturday at Darlington Raceway during the first of six planned track laps for charity. So we're having track laps for charity. This is our first one of the 2022 season. We'll be having six this year. Um, that's new. We're actually going to have two on race weekend under the lights. So that's new for us. Um, these events are benefiting charities in South Carolina, also in the Darlington area. Um, these are very important for our community. We do $20 uh, per car, and it's very successful for us. We had a great year in 2021. We're looking to continue that momentum in 2022. The beneficiary of Saturday's laps was Genesis Community Foundation from Darlington. And this is an exciting day for us because there have been so many cars come through. We really didn't expect a crowd like this. And some of them have gone around nine and ten times. So it's been real fun, but we're looking forward to doing this again, and we're asking all of you to come out and support. The event was a hit with drivers who came from near and far to take their laps on the track too tough to tame. Well, we're uh, on our way home from a weeks long family vacation in Florida. We caught some of the racing in Daytona while we were down there, and uh, we're thrilled to find out that we had this opportunity here at Darlington to make some laps. And, uh, fun. Kids are looking forward to doing it again. And you brought the family. We did. Got a car full of race fans here. Two uh, Chase Elliott fans in the back seat. And I'm wishing they were in the front seat behind the wheel. For SCNow.com and the morning news at Darlington Raceway, I'm Matt Robertson.